I'm trying this again. I'm getting tired of my camera. I erased everything on my camera so that I had tons of room on it. It's got brand new batteries in it that were charged. I don't know what the problem is, but I'm trying this again. And where have you all been? Not me. I've been here. Let's see. I've been reading. I've been cross-stitching. I've been coloring and playing a lot of Sims. So first I will tell you a little bit about what I've been reading. And this better work this time. I only got two minutes in and it shut off. So I read The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty. And I gave this a four star. I really enjoyed this. I knew what The Husband's Secret was 100 pages in. And um, what it has to do with is this wife is up in her attic cleaning or looking for something and she tips over a box and there's a letter in there addressed to her if her husband dies and he's not dead so she's debating and debating on whether to open it or not so she tells him while he's on a business trip that she found this letter and he told her just burn it, it was silly something he wrote to her how much he loved her and that well the way he'd been acting she decided to read it and it opens up a whole can of worms and um, there's a lot that, that's been going on in the town and all these characters all have something to do with each other. And then I read First Degree Mutter by Kate Dyer Seeley. I don't know if you can see that or if there's a lot of glare. I gave this a three star. This is is a cozy mystery and it has to do with a lady who works for a sports magazine and she's doing an article on um, there's a, a race coming up in the town a run and so she decides to join this group to get into shape for the race and they're um, person that's training them, their trainer, he's killed. And supposedly she was the last one to see him alive. So she's trying to solve his murder while also getting in shape for this race. It was pretty good. I gave it a three star and I got that from Nat Galley. And then I read The Pocket Wife by Susan Crawford. And um, this woman's neighbor was murdered and she was the last one supposedly to see her alive and her husband tries to discredit her he's, he's kind of cruel to her and she has um, oh, she has a medical issue and she hasn't, she, if she doesn't take her medicine, then she doesn't get the help. That she, she's bipolar. And so she's not sure what to believe and what, she, what really went on. And she remembers something about seeing a photo that was on her Fred's phone of, of her own husband having an affair. So they thought maybe she killed her neighbor being, you know, don't kill the messenger, but she did. So that was really good. And then I read Haunted is Always in Fashion by Rose Pressy. And I received that from that galley. I don't know if you can see that. And that was really good. Um... This woman owns a vintage clothing store, and she was supposed to meet another woman to get clothes from her for the store, and when she goes to meet her, she sees that there's a crime, and the woman had been killed in her car. So she gets involved in trying to solve this and it's called Haunted because she always has a ghost that follows her all around. She's a very sarcastic ghost and she'll make you laugh. And when this woman was, this other woman was killed, she became another ghost in this person's life. And she can't figure out why anybody would want to kill her. So, um, she has an aunt and 
a boyfriend or a fiance that was in her life um, all of a sudden now wanting to do wanting to know things that were in the car that were vintage and all this to do with a hat. So it was really good. I, I liked that. I gave that a three star. And then I read The Stranger by Harlan Coben. I love Harlan Coben. His books are so much fun. And this has to do with a stranger who goes around telling people about their loved ones that are keeping a secret from them. And a couple people end up being murdered for secrets. And Adam's trying to figure out why his wife had kept a secret from him. And when he confronted her, she ended up taking off and told him she needed time away from him and the kids. And so while he's trying to figure out where she is, he's also trying to figure out the secret that she had kept, why she did what she did. And so he's trying, he's finding things online of these businesses, and it went from there. And it, um, I really liked it. I gave it a four star. And then I just finished a few minutes ago. Are you eating another one of my pencils? Shades of Wrath by Karen Rose Smith. And this has to do with a murder of a woman who's opening a place for abusive women to get away from their spouses. And she helps them get away and she also helps them um, some of them need to get a new identities for her and for them and the kids to get away from the abusive relationships. And so the woman in here that was in charge of helping um, decorate and everything in this new building she finds out that the woman in charge is murdered. So she gets sucked in. I guess this is like part of a series and she's always sucked in to investigate. So she goes on to investigate why this is going on. Meantime, she's got a boyfriend who wants to be in her life more and she's also into helping find homes for animals. So it was really cute. And I gave this a three star. It's a cozy mystery. So that's what I've read so far. And I will be starting Scarlet Undercover by Jennifer Latham. Probably tomorrow. And this has a 310 pages. It doesn't look like it will take me that long. The font's not real small. And the book's not real, you know, it's not real big, so... That I should be able to finish. I should be able to read it all day tomorrow. So that's what I have been reading. But I've been playing Sims 2, Sims 3, and Sims 4, and I'm loving it. And then the past two nights I spent at Dylan's house because we've had winter weather. And so I don't drive in the snow, and he's had to go into work early. So instead of him getting me up, at 4.30 in the morning. I've just spent the night there for two nights, so um, I, I always take extra clothes with me anyways. So that worked out. So I ended up getting something in the mail I thought was pretty cute, and this is called You're So Sweet, and it's a project bag from Down Sunshine Lane, which is a cross-stitch site for um, buying products. But I use this to carry my book and my tablet in and my charger for my tablet so they all fit in here nice and neat nothing will happen to them so I carry them with me everywhere and it's got a nice zipper so got that and I've been coloring again, which I'm supposed to color tonight, but I don't think that's going to happen. I'm starting to get a headache. So last Wednesday, I colored out of Creative Cats coloring book by Creative Haven. And these pages I take out because they have the perforated pages. You can just take the pages right out. And so 
um, I was using my Prismacolor colored pencils and I did this. So I thought maybe I'd finish it tonight, but I don't think so. I'm, I've been getting migraines, so I know it's from the weather. We've just had crazy stupid weather. When was it? Last Friday, it was fifth. It was no Saturday. My husband and I went grocery shopping so I could get me some healthy foods because I fell off the wagon. So he had to go buy me some healthy foods, and it was 60 degrees out. This is western New York, people. This is was the middle of January. It should not be 60 degrees out. We even saw motorcycles out. It's like crazy. No wonder people are sick. And then Sunday, it's cold. So I've been getting migraines. Thankfully, though, I haven't had any other sinus issues, just the headaches. So Sunday, I didn't do anything but stitch all day and watch movies for like five hours. That's about all I could handle. So anyways, the last time I had shown you, I had finished cross-stitching this. So Sunday, I spent all that time putting the beads all on her. Isn't she pretty? I love working with the beads. So, yeah, I got quite a bit done on her. I mean, it doesn't seem like much when you think about it five hours, but that's a lot of beads. And I was watching movies the whole time. So I'm thrilled. I'm, I don't know. I'm hoping this Sunday I can finish the beads, but I'm not going to hold my breath because it takes a lot of time to put those beads on. In fact, here's three of, oh, the beads must have fallen. I knew I had dropped some. <laughs> there they are. So I've been watching some of the Hallmark Christmas movies while I was stitching or putting the beads on. And I watched, um, on the 12th day of Christmas, I watched Debbie McComer's Dashing Through the Snow. And I watched A Perfect Christmas. So, um... Those are three more movies off my DVR. And what else? That's about it. I ordered some things from Target. I wanted some more of those EOS lip balms. I like the round ones that look like little eggs. So I ordered some of those. And um, I wanted a shampoo and conditioner that I got for samples from Target a while ago. Um, their peppermint scent, but the store didn't carry them, so I ended up ordering them from online. So that's why I just I ordered some EOS because I think I got free shipping if you spent like more than twenty five dollars. So I figured I might as well order them because I really like them and I wanted some more different flavors. So that's what's been going on there, and like I said, my eating's been really bad, and I'm trying to get my water back into my drinking more water again. So I bought limes and lemons, and I bought frozen fruits. So I could put that in my water. Um, I bought all kinds of fruit, fresh fruit. I bought um, salads. Um, Wegmans sells ready-made salads, and um, I just checked the dates on them best buy and I bought six salads so I've been eating one every day for my lunch and I bought me the um, healthier snack healthier trail mixes because some aren't so healthy these don't have chocolate in it they just have the peanuts and the raisins some have coconut slices in it and banana um, the, the dried banana chips so, um, I'll have a handful or two of that every day. And then I bought baby carrots in a, um, container of a variety pack of hummus. I think there's four flavors, four different flavors of hummus in that. And I like hummus, so. And, um, instead of buying the tortilla chips, I bought baby carrots. I'm not a fan of carrots, but I'll dip them in the hummus and eat them that way. So that's all I've been doing, and like I said, playing my Sims a lot. I've missed playing my Sims. So, um, 
I'm just fitting everything in, but tonight was the first time I could sit down and really make a video. And so it's it's cutting into my coloring time, and I haven't been home for two nights, and like I said, I have a headache, and I'd rather just play Sims. I don't need to think. I can just play. That won't hurt my eyes like the coloring will. So that's why you haven't seen me, and I've missed all of you. I have been watching videos. I don't always leave a comment. So... If I don't leave a comment, I'll usually click on the like button. So at least you'll know I watched them anyways. And that's about it. I haven't had any Buddy Reads. No one's asked to Buddy Read. Um, we only have, what, a week left of this month? I don't know where it went. What is today? Today is the 25th. It's been a month since Christmas. I'm still in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> so, how much else going on? I'll do a, um, Tuesday I'll do a book haul for the month. I even have a coloring book that I bought. Thanks to uh, Jen from Reading with Pugs. She had a coloring book she showed that I had to buy, so I'll show that. I haven't had anything else going on. Grey's Anatomy came back on last Thursday. I watched that. That was good. Vampire Diaries came back on this month. I've been watching that. Um, this Is Us came back on. And Bones. I didn't watch last night, so I was at my son's, but... Um, it's an automatic DVR on my DVR, so I'll watch that this weekend. And been what I'm I'm a year behind on General Hospital, and I found that since I know the characters so well and their voices, I'm just watching them while playing Sims because neither one needs a lot of concentration. So that's what I've been up to, and I've missed you all, and hoping to get back into videoing again. So. I'll talk to you all later, and have a great day. Bye, everybody.